Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Liberals cringe after Maxine Waters makes new shocking claim about Trump. Liberals have plenty of reason to cringe again after Representative Maxine Waters, DCA, just made a new shocking claim about President Donald Trump. The low-class race hustler from California embarrassed her party once again during an interview with MSNBC. Maxine Waters never seems to understand when it's a good time to close her mouth. During an interview with MSNBC host Chris Hayes on Monday, April 23, 2018, the low-budget congresswoman from Southern California came out with her typical jaw-flapping and head-nodding. When the issue of impeaching Trump came up, she had a new baseless claim to spew. According to Daily Caller, the subject of impeachment came up during the interview when Waters and Hayes started discussing the Democratic Party's strategy for the midterm elections. Waters' responses could not have been more clown-like and ridiculous. Hayes presented the question on impeachment first. Are you of the belief that Democrats should make impeachment a centerpiece of the midterm elections? Hayes asked. Well, they have indicated they do not want to do that. They think that Republicans will use it, Waters responded. When asked by Hayes who in the Democratic Party said that, Waters simply replied, the leadership. Maxine Waters isn't the person I'd trust with any kind of political strategy if I were in leadership simply because of her inability to shut up, but evidently, her party still finds her to be a useful idiot. It truly is shocking that people of such low intelligence still weasel their way into Congress. Waters continued to elaborate on the subject of impeachment and how her party wants to position it. Whether we're talking about the DNC or the DCCC, they all believe that the Republicans will just use that and say they're mad because they lost the election and they don't particularly think that that's a good way to go with this," Waters said. I don't agree with them. When Chris Hayes asked her to confirm that she didn't think it would be a tactical mistake to peddle impeachment during the midterms, Maxine Waters said, No, I'm not persuaded by that idea. You know why? Because I tell you, everywhere I go people are talking about, why can't you all get rid of him? Why don't they impeach him? What's wrong with the other members of Congress? Why don't they stand up with you?" Waters continued. This man is dishonorable, he lies all the time, he's a con man. They say all of these things and I'm just talking about my district. Whether I'm on the airplane, I'm walking down the street in New York, wherever I am I'm hearing it," Waters added. Next, Maxine Waters made a completely unfounded claim about President Donald Trump. I'm told that 70 percent of women who have been polled say that they want him impeached, Waters exclaimed according to the Washington Free Beacon. At that point in the interview, a responsible host would have asked Waters to provide evidence for such an outrageous claim, but because she was interviewed on MSNBC, Chris Hayes simply thanked her for her time and concluded the segment without asking her to back up her statement. I highly doubt that Maxine Waters could provide any substantial evidence to prove such a ridiculous claim. The idea that 70 percent of women polled support impeachment of President Donald Trump is pure lunacy. Even for Waters, this is a new low. The interview is a perfect example of how the mainstream media is in bed with Democrats for the benefit of their shared political agenda. Had Waters been on any respectable network, she would have been probed for evidence of her claim. As the midterms approach, Democrats still have no common goal or agenda. What they do have is clown-like characters such as Waters appearing in random interviews to attack the president, and just like in 2016, that will come back around to bite them on election day. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.